Congratulations on your purchase of the amazing twister saw by the makers of the Renovator. Please take time to watch this quick instructional guide on how to use the twister saw efficiently and safely, so you can get the most out of this incredible tool and its amazing attachments. This DVD presentation is designed to supplement the safety and operating manual provided with your twister saw. It's in the interest of your safety to read all instructions carefully. Before using your twister saw, please check the following. The cord is not damaged. The bit is fastened securely in the collet. The bit is sharp and in good order. And always use personal protective equipment, including safety glasses and ear protection. Use a dust mask if operating in a dusty environment. Failure to comply with these safety rules can significantly increase the chance of serious injury. Now your twister saw can be used on so many different materials. It makes almost any job fast and easy. Twister saw has a powerful 5 amp motor capable of speeds from 5,000 to 25,000 RPM with a green indicator light to let you know when the power is switched on. The on-off switch is located at the top of the saw with the speed controller placed conveniently below. Always make sure you place your twister saw securely into the twister handle and lock it into place using the locking screw provided. The handle of the base is fully adjustable for your optimum cutting position. Using the adjustment on the side of the saw, you can adjust the depth of any cut required. It's important to set the depth guide so the cutting bit extends four millimetres deeper than the thickness of the material you're about to cut. Changing twister saw bits is fast and easy. Press in the spindle locking button at the side of the saw and using the wrench provided, remove the locking nut and choose the correct collet to suit the size bit you're using. Now you can install the twist bit and tighten the locking nut securely to secure the twist bit in place. We've even included a fence guide that fits into the base of the twister saw for any straight cuts. And don't forget to use the vacuum attachment for fast and easy cleanup. The circling cutting tool fits securely into the twister saw handle. It incorporates an easy adjustment so you can cut any size opening fast and easy. To prolong the life of your twister bits, always refer to the workshop guide provided. Remember, when cutting tiles or ceramics, start at the lowest speeds. You can always increase the speed to obtain your optimum cutting capabilities as you go. When using the twister saw, it's important never to force any cut. Let the saw do the work for you. By removing the freehand depth guide and comfort control grip, you can now easily install the jigsaw attachment. Always make sure the twister saw fits snugly into the jigsaw attachment and secure it using the locking screw. It incorporates a depth guide on the side of the jigsaw handle to alter the depth of cut required. Remember that vacuum attachment is locked at the rear of the handle. When you're cutting materials like timber, as they're a natural product, no two pieces of wood are the same. So if at any time you find your twister saw struggling, adjust the speed to suit the job at hand. Because the bit rotates, there is a slight pull to the left when cutting. Natural differences in wood structure can cause the bit to drift. If too much pressure is applied, this effect will be increased. Slower cutting gives greater control. Applying too much pressure or faster cutting will raise temperatures of the bit and shorten its life. When cutting a hole in vertical material, always start and end the cut at the top of the hole, not at the bottom. Finishing at the top means the cutout will fall away from the rotating bit. Here are some important safety measures. Always make sure any material you're about to cut is clamped down securely before using twister saw and the area is kept clear. Always use the adjustable twister handle for your safety. We recommend you follow all the appropriate safety guidelines when using power tools. Never attempt to remove or inspect any twist bit while the saw is running. And if any of the bits become overheated, you must let them cool down before removing. There are some unique safety features built into the twister saw. If at any time it overheats, the green indicator light will turn red and it will automatically shut down. Simply turn it off and let it cool down before restarting. If there is a power interruption or the switch is in the on position when turning on your twister saw, it will not start for your safety. Simply turn it off at the switch at the top of the saw and turn it back on to use. 
and Twister Saw's advanced torque control will automatically adjust to keep the speed of the saw constant under load. Before starting on your renovation project, always practice on a scrap piece of material to avoid any costly mistakes. When blind cutting into plasterboard, please make sure all electric circuit breakers have been turned off in the area you're about to work in. And before installing plasterboard, push any wires as far back into outlet boxes as far as possible to avoid cutting them. Before you fasten the plasterboard sheet on the side facing you, mark the centre of the outlet on the sheet. To avoid the plasterboard distorting under pressure, do not fasten nails or screws closer than 300 millimetres from the outlet box. To attach the twister flex to the main body of the twister saw, use the locking nut and collet provided. Always keep the twister flex as straight as possible for maximum torque and power. Never bend the twister flex shaft to a diameter of less than 150 millimetres or six inches when operating, otherwise overheating can occur. It can be laid flat on the bench using the twister saw handle or hung up using the latch provided at the top of the saw. When using the twister flex, hold it like a pen and simply adjust your speed for fast and easy use. To change bits, using the twister flex is easy. Simply use the locking pin provided combined with the twister flex wrench to change your bits. You're now ready to engrave, cut, sand, drill or polish and so much more. Always use the workshop guide provided, and if you're unsure, remember simply adjust the speed of the twister saw until the job you're doing is fast and easy. Please note, never force any cut, and you'll not only prolong the life of your bits, but you'll also do a professional job in no time. Hold the saw at a 45 degree angle using the one quarter multi-purpose bit, and make sure to keep a firm grip. With the twister saw switched on, bring the saw up to a 90 degree or vertical position. You can now cut in any direction. Using the drywall bits provided, which are easily identified as they have a blunt triangular end, always cut in an anti-clockwise direction for a precise controlled cut. When using the tracing bit, simply plunge cut into the centre of any material being cut and with gentle pressure, guide the bit to the outside edge and trace around the material being used to get a perfect clean cut. Using the quarter inch wood or multi-purpose bit, you can easily cut through timber up to 20 millimetres thick. It's important never to force any cut so as to prolong the life of your bit. When using the wood and multi-purpose bits, these are designed to cut thin materials up to eight millimetres thick. You'll notice there are less flutes on some bits. This is to allow for smoother or slightly rougher cuts. The diamond hole saw cuts through the thickest of tiles or ceramics. It's very important when using this to take your time to avoid overheating the diamond hole saw. The tile rasp is capable of cutting wall and floor tiles with ease. Always go a controlled low speed to make clean, precise cuts. There are two router bits in the kit, a straight router bit that should be used in conjunction with a fence guide to cut channeling and a profiling bit. Use the maximum speed setting and cut in a forward direction. Maintain a tight grip at all times when using these tools. We have four different wood carving bits. Always keep in mind, as timber is a natural material, you may need to vary the speed of the twister saw to get the best results. There are three sanding drums with sanding belts to suit any job. We've also included a sandpaper base with an array of sanding discs to suit coarse or fine work. Polishing. You can polish and buff any material using the locking pin in conjunction with any of our polishing felts. A light cutting compound may be used for heavy duty work. In the kit you have 10 diamond drills for masonry, glass or ceramics. When etching glass, choose the bit to suit your job. Select a medium speed and use it just like you would a pen. No heavy pressure is needed for a professional job. The 22mm diamond cutting wheel will cut masonry, glass and ceramic. As with all the diamond bits, never force the cut. Find the correct speed and take your time. 
There are over eight grinding wheels and polishing tips that can grind and hone any blade to a sharp edge. Use light pressure when using the grinding wheels and always work away from yourself to obtain the best results. There are seven precision brushes for use on metals and plastics. They're exceptionally good at cleaning any old rust spots or hard to reach areas. Thank you for your purchase of the amazing Twister Saw. It won't be long before this becomes the number one preferred choice in your toolbox. Enjoy your tool, take care.